Raiders coming down the tunnel prior to the game. They're prepared to give their rabid fan base a night to remember. Thanks for joining us in honoring Martin Luther King Day. It's a very special presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Allie LaForce joining us courtside. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Toronto Raptors. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Then on Thursday, they'll be matching up with Andre Drummond and the Chicago Bulls. And you know for that matchup with New York, that's going to be a nice test for them. They'll get a chance to see just how they play against a team that most feel is better than them. And the starting group for the Celtics. White and Brown with the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. And for Toronto, Barnes is out there with R.J. Barrett. Then there's Jakob Pertl. Then there's Emmanuel Quickly. And it's Trent in at the two guard. Well, we've got some explosive athletes out here tonight, Grant, and front row seats to watch it. You know, B.A., they're going to be stuffing that highlight reel all night. I mean, you can feel the energy in this place. The crowd is definitely ready for it. And so off the tip, it's Boston. Holiday against Quickly. Now here's Tatum. Not a lot of room. Brown against Barrett. Brown, no good. Quickly finds Barnes. Porzingis grabs the board. Here's Tatum. Count that one. With his upper body strength, Tatum can power through contact. White against Trent. Knocks it loose. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. And we're about a minute into the first. Barnes against Tatum. Shot clock at five. The three. Barrett. And Brown is known for being an incredible defender. Able to guard multiple positions. Holiday passes to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Shot from 12. And that one hits the back iron. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Trent for three. Buries it from three. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. For Boston, they've gone one for three so far. Holiday surveying the floor. Outside, Brown. Pass to White. Driving in. Rejected by Barnes. Here's Trent. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Got to be careful shooting around Porzingis. His length is so capable of erasing shots. Rejected by Barnes. Still very early, but that's not the start they want. One for five shooting. Quickly from outside. Knocks it down from distance. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Tatum against Barnes. Over to the wing. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And granted, a deal that came down to the wire this summer. The Celtics got their man, Kristaps Porzingis. Oh, yes, they did, B.A. As tough as it was to give up Marcus Smart for Boston, a chance to balance their roster and acquire a two-way tower in his prime.
When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A. To have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. Now here's Quickly. Giving them some good production. Putting up just around 16 and a half points a game. Hurdle with the bucket. I like seeing Jakob go to work in pick and rolls. He is so dependable in these situations. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They trail by three. Last time they met in Boston. Thanks to their stellar defensive intensity, they registered a ton of stops in that one. They were hustling to get in front of every play they could. Always getting a hand in the shooter's face. Now here's Barrett. 23 points for him last game against Utah. And stolen by Holiday. And here in the first quarter, a little over three and a half minutes play. White on the wing. Tatum inside. Working on Barnes. Tatum. Good. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. And here is Barrett. Still no points. They double him with Brown. Barrett can't hit. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. White with it, and it's Trent picking him up. Holiday passes to Porzingis. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. Porzingis has got five now. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. Trent finds quickly. Inside. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And Holiday, here we go. Another miss. He's 0 for 2 now. White with the steal over Trent. White, good. All right, guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Celtics? The enthusiasm they've brought to their defense so far is something else. Going after shooters and really hustling to get their hands on shots. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. Now here's Brown. In the game against Houston, very impressive. Hurdle grabs a miss. Hurdle's got five rebounds tonight. Toronto has gone two for three from outside the arc. Barrett passes to Pirtle. Trent outside. Right at the free throw line. And the shot goes down. Five points in the game. Pirtle got his eyes open tonight. Great feed to create the easy opportunity. Holiday with the ball. Yet to see a basket. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. Brown passes to Tatum. Three-pointer, no good. Toronto trailing. Barrett finds Barnes. Barrett a screen on Brown. Outside Barnes. Pass to Pirtle. Quickly with the ball. Clock at six. Pulls up on the wing. Boston with a rebound. Porzingis has got four rebounds now. And even in a short time in the NBA... Tatum has become the model wing for the modern NBA, RJ. Yeah, he does everything so well. Shooting, defense, playmaking, you name it, this man has it. He gives you everything you want and need in that wing position. No good on the free throw. We're about halfway through the regular season here, Grant. We've had some surprising teams and players. Yeah, you know, every season we have it, at least one team that exceeds expectations and one that kind of lets us all down. But what I love the most is seeing breakout players that take this lead by storm. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Normally he sinks all of his free throws. The defense got lucky there. Pass to Pirtle. The three from Barnes. Jalen Brown with a rebound. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Holiday. White on the wing. 
The three ball. The shot by Holiday, no good. And the free throw, no good. Well, Grant, one of the things that keep Raptors fans positive is the youth that's represented on this roster. Yeah, they've got a great core, B.A., and lots of young guys on this team. But they're missing a star. Yeah, probably, but they can be dangerous. Tatum against Barnes. Back to Trent. Outside Barnes. Six to shoot. Back to quickly. Over Tatum. That one rolls around and rims out. And to put things simply, this has not been his quarter. Pass to Porzingis. Now Holiday, guarded by Trent. Outside Tatum. Now Porzingis. There's the triple. Hits a three-pointer. Porzingis has got eight points. He's coming to work, ready to ball, hitting three of his first four shots. Okay. Toronto has gone two for four from range to start things off. Quickly against Holiday. Now here's Quickly. Defense is right there. They set a pick. Pirtle, the pass to Quickly. Five on the clock. Over Holiday. Goes back up. And the officials call goaltending. So they'll award the basket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. And some changes here for the Raptors. Boucher's checked in for Barrett. Abaji comes in for Trent. And it's Brown in for Quickly. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Al Horford's checked in for Kristaps Porzingis. Tillman comes in for Jason Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Brown can't hit. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. Now Pirtle. He picked up 18 points in their last win against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Don't forget his four steals just filling up the box score. Now here's Brown. Trailing by two. Here's Boucher for three. That shot missing. Boston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Brown passes to Pritchard. Horford outside. Pass to Brown. There's the three. And it's Boucher with the rebound. This is hard to watch. You might want to put the kids to bed. This man still has not hit a shot this quarter. A good look from Brown. That one's good. This game is all even. Here's Pritchard. No made baskets yet. Right side Brown. Pass to Horford. Six on the shot clock. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got three assists tonight. You see the great fundamentals. Horford sets up for the quick shot off the feed. No hesitation. Now here's Brown. Nine points for him in his last game. Now here's Barnes. It's Brown on the wing. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Here's Pritchard, defended by Brown. Pritchard, the pass to Hauser. Outside, Brown. Here's Tillman. Knocks down the triple. And the Celtics lead by five. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Kick out to Brown. And another basket for Toronto. Minute 32 left to play in the first. Here's Pritchard. No points yet. Left side, Brown. Oh, rejected by Boucher. 
Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. And Toronto calls time here. And the Raptors with some changes. Olenix checked in for Pirtle. Nora comes in for Barnes. And quickly subbed in for Abaji. And the Celtics also making a change. Tatum, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. Here's Nora. Boucher outside. Nora, the pass to quickly. From deep three-point land. The rebound by Jason Tatum. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Quickly. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. Releases from the wing and drills it. Tatum's got six. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Olenek finds quickly. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. And talk about consistency, RJ. Boston has made the Eastern Conference Finals five out of the last seven years. Yeah, that's pretty phenomenal, especially since some of their best players are still developing. I know a guy that thinks that they haven't been very good for a very long time. But I know what Celtics fans want. They want a ring. But they should still feel very proud of what this young team has accomplished. And he drops the first. Quickly drops them both. Boston with a ball. Three-point lead. On the wing, Tatum. Six points for him. The Raptors shooting only 35% so far in this quarter. Boucher outside. And that one drops for him. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Now here's Tatum, tightly guarded. Pritchard, no good from outside. Kristaps Porzingis getting it done for Boston. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And proud to have you with us on Martin Luther King Day for a special presentation of the NBA. All right, guys, what do you think about the Celtics here in this one? Well, clearly they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. They are playing for one another and focusing on making winning plays. You love to see it. Toronto trailing. They've got Bruce Brown. Chris Boucher out there with Kelly Olynyk. Then there's Emmanuel Quickly, and it's Nuora in at the small forward. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Yeah, he was able to sneak it to the rim. Had enough room to get just like an easy layup. Here's Pritchard. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Tatum passes to Tillman. Oh, good D by Boucher. 
This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. The Celtics are battle-tested and asked what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. PA? Yeah, yeah, that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. Outside, Brown. Pass to quickly. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. The rebound, Celtics. Now here's Tatum. Coming off a 28-point game against Houston. Pritchard, the pass to Tillman. And the ball out of play. The Raptors will have it. Let's have a look at the early favorites to compete in this year's three-point contest. Many of the top shooters in the league. Most of these guys are going to collect a ton of votes. And if this is who makes the final cut, then it's going to be a year to remember. And you look at Porzingis. He's right on the cusp of securing his spot in the three-point contest. So I hope those votes keep pouring in because he's a guy you'd love to see in the mix. Yeah, if he can make it in the door, you know he will do everything he can to win the whole thing. And it'll be a lot of fun to watch. And as we continue to count the votes, we'll update you on any changes to the list. No matter who is in it, though, it's going to be fun. Maybe this is the year we see a perfect score. Who knows? I'll be sure to be locked in on all of All-Star Weekend, especially the three-point contest. Brushing off the contact look. The dude is strong. When he gets in there, it's easy. That's an easy bucket. Quickly outside. Here's Brown. Had the space there, but it's offline. The Celtics have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Here's Tatum. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. Uh-oh. Did he change his mind on the way up? I think he did. Screen by Olenek. Looking to get it going. Intercepted. Here's Hauser. No point so far. Pass to Horford. Here's Pritchard. Here's Tillman. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. And we've heard players asking for more clarity and accountability from the officials. Grant, you think they have a point? Well, players often ask refs to explain calls. So they also want some clarity from the league whether the refs got it right. And that information oftentimes can help them make the proper adjustments moving forward. He's off on the first. And some changes here for the Raptors. R.J. Barrett comes in for Nora. And it's Trent in for Brown. Chris stops Porzingis. He's checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for Hauser. That one drops. He ties it up. And it's the Raptors with the ball. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. They defeated Utah in their last game. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. Here's Pritchard. He's scoreless. Pass to Tatum. Back to Pritchard. They kick it out to Porzingis. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. So smooth off the catch. Przingis is excellent at judging when to take quick shots. Quickly up top. He's covered by Holiday. Trent, the pass to Olenek. And Porzingis with the block. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Trent. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Gary Trent. And 
And the first one at the line is good. The Celtics making a switch here. Warford's checked in. And so he hits both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. The Raptors have gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Back to quickly. Boucher outside. To the middle. Just snap the cold streak. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Holiday. The Celtics with the lead. And Grant, you look at the longevity of Horford's career. He's done a great job reinventing himself. You know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30. And that has extended his career by changing how he plays. He still can be an X-factor on any given night. Porzingis misses. Toronto has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. And it's Barrett off the drive. And the Raptors miss again. And for the Celtics, they're shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Holiday finds Horford. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Horford's got his second bucket on the night. And put it on a platter. Holiday serving it up for his teammate. And Toronto calls time here. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Scotty Barnes has checked in for Toronto. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Pritchard. White against Trent. Pass to Quickly. To the inside. And Porzingis with the block. Holiday against Trent. Holiday passes to White. Outside Holiday. Trent with the defensive effort. Toronto trailing. Outside Barnes. To the paint. A shot to stop the runs. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. On the wing, Holiday. Guarded by Trent. Outside Porzingis. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And so it's Barnes with it. He brings it up for Toronto. Barrett passes to Trent. Barnes with it. Pass to Barrett. Brown with the steal. Holiday with the ball. Now quickly defending. A physical guard who plays with no fear. Holiday doesn't get to the line as often as you think. First free throw is good. Pirtles checked in for Toronto. Brown comes in for quickly. Holiday hits them both. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. And Toronto calls time here.
10, let's have a look at which point guards have posted the best steals numbers over this past month. Drew Holiday is second. Yeah, he's a pest. He gets under your skin. I mean, all these players have the combination of quickness and intelligence you want in a point guard. Yeah, it's just not their quickness or their hands that have them at the top of the list. It's their defensive instincts that set them apart. Now here's Barrett, still without a bucket. To win the drought. And he lays it up and in. And we're starting to see some fire from Barrett. A tremendous sign for this team. Barnes against Tatum. Brown, a screen on Barnes. Pass to Brown. It's stolen by Pirtle. Outside, Brown. Barrett up top. He's guarded by White. Barrett can't hit. Well, some trips you get the shot you want. It just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. Here's Brown. Austin, no good that time either. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Barrett against White. Brown, a screen on White. Here's Barrett. Rebounded by the Celtics. It's been a challenging quarter for them, and his offensive inconsistency is a driving factor. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. So it's Boston now. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Holiday from long range. Nails it from three. Holiday's got five. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Barnes in the post. Warford covering. Kicks it out to Barrett. Just five on the clock. Over Holiday, Barrett can't hit. Just an ugly show from him offensively. Yep, no way to describe it, just ugly, and that hasn't helped. White with it. He's picked up by Pirtle. Off target with the three. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Trent from long range. And it doesn't fall for him. Made two, missed two now. Here are the Celtics with the ball. Some momentum, a 15-2 run underway. Here's Holiday. Nice D from Brown. He struggles shooting the rock, yet they're still winning. It's a good thing his teammates have played well. And Jalen Brown gets a whistle that time. That's his first foul. And here's Barnes. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Brown, a screen on Horford. Barnes passes to Trent. That's in. Coming off an assist from Barnes. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Horford, a screen on Brown. Holiday passes to White from outside the arc. Pirtle grabs a miss. Pirtle's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Barnes finds Barrett. Outside, Brown. Pass to Barrett. Six to shoot. It's Barnes on the wing. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Here's Pirtle. The rebound, Celtics. Porzingis has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Holiday passes to Horford. It's stolen by Barnes. Barrett with it. Now guarded by Brown. Barrett, he's open. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got five rebounds tonight. And with his team trying to trim this margin, his struggles this quarter, eh, they're not helping things. Outside, Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. Brown passes to Porzingis. Launches a three. Rebound by the Raptors. Barnes has got a sixth rebound on the night. Here's Barrett. And again, Toronto no good. 
he hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. What's colder than cold? But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Porzingis with a screen on Pirtle. Horford, left side. Uncovered. That one rolls around and rims out. If he gets that look again, he should take it. You can't let one miss scare you off of a very good shot. And the basket by Trent. He got a three to fall in the first, and now his second in this quarter. Not a trend the defense wants to see. On the wing, Holiday, defended by Brown. Brown passes to Holiday. No good, and they can't put it into the drought. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Raptors. Four-point game. They'll be hosting Miami for their next game. And that'll put them halfway through a three-game homestand. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Here's Horford. And from the field after that one, three for four now. Toronto's gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Brown against Barrett. Pirtle with a screen on Brown. Here's Barrett. Here's Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. Powerful finish. Jakob not taking any chances in tight. Got it off in time. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. It's the Celtics up by four. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks so much, Al. As you anchor that front court, what were you guys looking to accomplish in the first half? I mean, we're, you know, we're just trying to play with pace, you know, trying to dominate on the defensive end, get rebounds, uh, make it tough. Pace is key. Back to you. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. Pleased to have you tune in. What better way to start than by checking out the contenders for the dunk contest on All-Star Weekend? Well, certain years in the contest are more entertaining than others, Shaq. You know, it's hard for me to believe this field would not be entertaining. You look at the field. Look at all these guys. you got to know they came to play today. Yeah, they better put on a show. Please don't let us down. And in our game with the Raptors, a close, entertaining first half. Kenny, it's time for them to tap out on the three ball. They need to just give it up. Try to get something inside. Make the defense work. But we see this a lot. Teams just jacking up quick shots instead of running the offense all the way through. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And welcome back to our NBA coverage on this very special MLK Day. One guy who's been getting it done is Gary Trent. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. On the floor for Boston. White and Brown are the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Trent from long range. Good work defensively by White. Locking the arc down. Defense knows it's on them to scare off those shots. Pass to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Trent. Here's Tatum. Tatum showing off the strength. <laughs> what hard work from Tatum inside. Doing what it takes to find his shot. Now Pirtle. Back to Barnes. Hurdle with a screen on Tatum. Barnes feeling it out a bit. Back to Pirtle. Pass to Quickly. Puts up a three. The rebound, Celtics. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink its strategy around what to do with him. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, 
He's become such an effective defender, Greg. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. Shoot two. Makes a first. Right hits them both. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Trent, the pass to Barnes. This one for three. And it's quickly. That time on the assist by Barnes. Barnes has got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to Tatum. Outside White. Here's Brown. Brown! Oh, my goodness! Was it just me, or was there a little bit extra on that slam by Brown? Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. The Raptors have gone just one of three in the second half. Barrett against Brown. Pass to Pirtle. Left side Barrett. Porzingis grabs the board. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Got to pick it up. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Ali, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Quickly, passes to Trent. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his first foul of the game. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. Let's see if that block can amp up this team. I mean, they're looking for anything to get themselves going. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Barrett against Brown. Outside Barrett. Pirtle with a screen on Brown. Barrett passes to Pirtle. Lockdown defense by Porzingis. When he moves his feet to get in position, his length is unbelievable. Outside Holiday. For three, Porzingis. Wow, Porzingis with the triple. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. And Toronto calls time here. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall. And now let's look at some of the bigs who have been getting it done in the scoring column. Number one, Jason Tatum. This big is just oozing with confidence offensively. The best scorer at the four and five positions, and he's a guy his team can really lean on.
second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pirtle finds Trent. Back to Pirtle. Six on the shot clock. Here's Quickly. Gets it to go from eight feet. Quickly's got five points in the quarter. The Celtics have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Porzingis sets a screen. Pass to White. The three is up. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Bertle's got 11 rebounds in the game. Outside Barnes. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Chris stops Porzingis picks one up. Well, that was clearly a foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Celtics. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. They've also been striking from mid-range with great consistency tonight. They just own that part of the floor in this one. White, the pass to Tatum. Back to White. Pass to Tatum. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. Outside Porzingis. That falls. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Tatum's got three assists in the game. Some slippage at the defensive end here in the second half, allowing the offense to establish more of a rhythm. Now here's Trent. 11 points in the game. If they want to come back, he needs to be better. Quickly against Holiday. Brown with it. They kick it out to Porzingis. Porzingis is double. Shot from the top of the key. And he gets the jumper to drop. And now it's a 12-point Celtic lead. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Get there, get there. Quickly against Holiday. Tatum with a steal. Down low. KP wrecks the rim. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Toronto's gone only one of three from deep here in the third. With the step back. Quickly, right side. That shot is off. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. And the Raptors making a change here. Brown's checked in. And the Celtics also making a change. Warford's checked in. Now Barnes, a steady force on their offense, recording around 14 and a half a game. Here's Brown, shakes off strong D and gets to the bucket for two points. Brown's got his third basket on the night right there. Brown against Holiday. I mean, just forcing the issue, Drew gets a pair at the line. First free throw is good. hits them both and really strong at the line since the break and so here is Toronto they trail by 14 here's Barnes 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Knocks down the first one. Both free throws good from Barnes. Well, Richard, the league now requires 65 games played to qualify for postseason awards. You see that curbing load management at all? I hope so, B.A. I'm not a big fan of load management. I think if you're healthy, you should try and play. You should build up your strength to run a marathon. I think if teams are prioritizing postseason success, that's fine. But, look, players are going to want to get those All-NBA awards because that helps with your contract. And so here is Toronto after the basket by Boston. Barrett passes to Barnes. Trent outside. Barrett a screen on Brown. Five to shoot. Back to Barnes. Let's the three fly. Boston with a rebound. Porzingis has got rebound number 15 here tonight. Brown with it. And it's Trent picking him up. Brown, no good. And so Brown will bring it up for the Raptors. It's a 14-point game. Outside Barrett. The three from Barnes. Drains the triple. Barnes has got six in the quarter. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Holiday passes to Horford. Tatum looking it over. Back to Horford. Outside Holiday. Top of the key. And the jumper is on the mark. Holiday's got nine points. And after a terrible first half shooting the ball, they're finally finding their touch. Barnes passes to Barrett. Tatum with some nice D. Boston has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Brown. Horford outside. Fires from deep. Pirtle grabs a miss. Pirtle's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. Barrett with it. Picked up by Tatum. And here's Trent. Brown. A screen on Brown. Here's Trent. Sweet little floater. 13 points in the game. His shot has been on point from the opening tip. He's pretty much kept them in the game. And Boston calls time here. And the Raptors with some changes. Boucher's checked in for Scotty Barnes. Nora comes in for Barrett. And Abaji subbed in for Trent. Boston. They've gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Who poked away. Here's Hauser. He's scoreless. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. Something Jakob does so well. He's terrific at positioning himself to come up with these blocks. Clock at 6. Pritchard, the pass to Horford. Oh, Horford! Wanting it more! 
it's harder to thread those passes inside, but the reward is evident. And Grant Brown signing a huge Supermax with the Celtics over the summer. Oh my, B.A., over $300 million for five years. The Celtics made as big a financial commitment you can make to Brown. That's a lot to live up to, but he has a lot of talent. And the basket by Boucher. 157 left in the third quarter. Outside, Brown. Hurdle grabs a miss. Hurdle's got rebound number 13 tonight with that one. Abaji, the pass to Pirtle. Here's Abaji. Pass to Brown. Pirtle with a screen on Brown. Six on the shot clock. They get it back. Boston's gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Here's Pritchard. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Trying to make up ground here. And with plenty of time left, you want to play with urgency, but not desperation. The Celtics shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Pass to Brown. Now here's Horford. Nine points in the game. Here's Hauser. Let's it go from deep. Pirtle grabs a miss. There's 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Abaji. No point so far. Over to the left wing. Here's Boucher for three. He can't get that one to fall. Boston shooting just 38% for this game so far. Here's Pritchard. Defended by Brown. Horford, a screen on Brown. Horford, left side. The three. Hurdle grabs a miss. There's 10 seconds left in the third. Screen by Olenek. Quickly from outside. Doesn't go for him. And so it's Boston. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Their play has earned them a nice lead. One they'll look to build on as the game continues. Back to the game after this break. And again, happy Martin Luther King Day as we return to the court here on 2K Sports. Bruce Brown is out there with Emmanuel Quickly. Then it's Chris Boucher. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, And it's Nuora in at the three. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Tatum into the lane. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Quickly, left side. Tries again. The shot by Olenek, no good. Olenek's gotten just one of his six shots to fall here. Here's Pritchard. Hauser passes to Tatum. Wow! Tatum with a contested three! Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. Pass to Olenek. To the inside. Here's Nora from downtown. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Drew the defense and made the proper read, hitting his teammates on the perimeter. 
Here's Pritchard, guarded by Quickly. The kick to Tatum. Deflected! Back in 2017, two-way contracts started in the NBA. Created more opportunities, Grant. Yeah, B.A., Chris Boucher signing one of the first two ways back in 2017. I mean, he was a huge success story for this system. Chris signing a big contract during the 2022 free agency period. The Raptors have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Quickly from outside. The offensive rebound. Pass to Boucher. Here's Nora. No good on the triple. Here's Pritchard. Here's Tillman, covered by Boucher. Tillman with a screen. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Three-pointer off the mark. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Toronto has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Pass to Boucher. Now here's Brown. Outside for Boucher. Off target from three-point range. The Celtics with the lead. Tatum on the drive. Yep, count it. So agile on the drive. When Tatum puts it on the deck, man, he is a major problem. Quickly, outside. Brown with a screen. Boucher right side. Launches it. Austin with a rebound. Horford's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Quickly. Pritchard, no good. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Brown can't hit. And Tatum's got the ball here for Boston. They've only given up five points here in the fourth. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. Now here's Tatum. An active score. Whenever Tatum forces the issue and goes at the defense, they have to compromise. He misses the free throw. Scotty Barnes is checked in for Nora. Makai Luke's checked in for Boston. Holiday comes in for Pritchard. And he's good on the second. Hey, when you start locking it down at the line, good things tend to happen. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Brown, a screen on Tatum. Barnes, no good. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Stolen by Quickly. And now the Raptors on the break. Tries to break his ice. And the layup is up and in. And here's Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Horford, a screen on Barnes. Here's Tatum. Tatum knocks it down. He's locked in right now. Ooh, how about those nifty moves from Tatum? So crafty with the rock. And he lobs it up to the rim. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Pass to Tillman. Four on the clock. Wing shot on the way. And he hits the jumper for two. And the Celtics lead by 14. And look at Holiday outsmarting the coverage. Finding a way to get his shot around it. Quickly against Holiday. Brown, a screen on Holiday. Takes a step back. And here's Olenek. Three-pointer. Knocks down the long J. As a big, unless you're a dedicated rim runner, have to be some kind of threat from distance. Tatum with it.
It's Mikhailuk on the wing. For three. Sinks it from distance. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. And the Raptors with some changes. Pirtles checked in for Olenek. R.J. Barrett comes in for Boucher. And it's Trent in for Brown. Pritchard's checked in for Boston. Pirtle, the pass to Barrett. Unloads from 13. Boston with a rebound. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Now Holiday. Pass to Horford. Six to shoot. Outside Tatum. Beyond the arc. Rebound by the Raptors. Barnes has got nine rebounds now. Here's Tillman. Set it up with a fake, but it's offline. A difficult situation for Toronto. Now Barrett. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Such a gutsy player. Barrett takes on challenging defenders in style and stays in control. The Celtics have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Pass to Tatum. the basket is good. Tatum's got 14 points now in the second half. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Trent finds Barnes. Here's quickly. Outside Barrett. Trent with it. Now quickly. Fires the three. Oh, again! Toronto with a triple! This is his second three this half. He's getting even more bold at that arc. Pass to Tatum. It's rebounded by Barron. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Boston's gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. It's stolen by Barnes. Tatum against Barrett. And there's the lob. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And some changes here for the Celtics. Porzingis has checked in for Horford. Brown comes in for Tillman. And it's White in for Pritchard. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. During that last break, I heard Joe Mazzula as he talked with the team. He told his guys, let's not waste this advantage. Hold on to it. Stay aggressive. Let's not give up ground. Coach wants to see his team staying strong out there, guys. All right, Allie, thanks once again. It's stolen by Barnes. And a fast break now for the Raptors. And Trent the bucket on the assist by Quickly. And Brown has got the ball here for Boston. Porzingis with a screen on Barrett. Brown with it. He's picked up by Pirtle. Porzingis. Oh, that one's off. Still out of sync. Toronto trailing. Quickly passes to Trent. Good. Now 7 for 11 on the night. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. For Boston, they've gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. White, the pass to Tatum. Back to White. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Jakob Pertl. Good man. <laughs> the defender really went after him. First one falls for him. 
but you can't help but notice this half is how lights out they've been from the free throw line. White hits them both. Well, the Raptors shooting 44% here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Pirtle. Back to Trent. It's Barrett on the wing. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. <laughs> They've been playing with much greater physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. <laughs> They've definitely made free throws look easy here in the second half. The Celtics with the lead. Now here's Tatum. With the teardrop. Oh, look at Tatum going to work inside. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Quickly against Holiday. Hurdle with a screen on Holiday. Shot clock at six. With a nine footer. And that one's good. Quickly. Quickly's got seven points for the quarter. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Out of bounds. The Raptors will take it. And for Toronto, they're shooting 35% so far in this one. It's Barnes on the wing. Trent outside. Pass to quickly. Down to five on the shot clock. Hurdle with the bucket. And now just a three-point Celtic lead. We have seen Jakob's role on offense grow over the years. He's a high percentage shooter from inside. And here's Holiday. Minute 32 left in the final quarter. Outside Porzingis. Over Pirtle. And it's Toronto with a rebound. And just one bucket away from a double-double. A terrific effort. He's made such a big impact. Trent outside. On the wing quickly. He's covered by Holiday. The three. Barrett. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. Boston has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Holiday with the ball. Now quickly defending. Back to Holiday. Stolen by quickly. Here they come with numbers in transition. Here's Barnes. Missed inside. White against Trent. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. It's the first one, and that gives him a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Gets them to fall, and those are huge free throws. It's now a two-possession game. And Toronto calls time here. They're trailing by five. 35 seconds left in the game. All right, guys, what's your take? They don't want to waste time here. If they can score fast enough, they can go back on D and try to get a stop instead of having to foul. Thirty-five seconds left in the fourth. Trent finds quickly. And again, Toronto, no good. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Good on the first. And that increases the lead to six. 
standing at 7-3. We have never seen a player quite like Kristaps Porzingis, a fantastic shooter, a solid ball handler. What a talent. Stellar work at the charity strike, trying to build out this lead. And the Raptors call time here. They're behind by seven. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Quickly outside. There's a four second difference from the shot clock and the game clock. Count it! He'll be asking for some lottery numbers later if he keeps knocking down shots like that. And he commits the intentional foul. He gets the first, and that increases the lead to six. Every team in this league wants a Jalen Brown, a tremendous two way wing, and boy, Brown can put up giant offensive numbers. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. Barrett can't hit. And an intentional foul right there. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. the first one drops and that makes it a seven point lead what strikes me about jason tatum is really his versatility he's got any move for any situation that you throw at him his moves have moves his counters have counters that is a man that can finish plays or make them the three from barnes it doesn't go for him and so it's boston with the w Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Jason, with you guys being such a young team, how do you continue to improve to reach your potential? Uh, we got to watch film. I mean, we did a lot of good things today. So a lot of things we could have done better. And uh, we just got to be focused, composed, play with a lot of boys, and uh, we'll be fine. Boys normally comes with experience, but because you're so young, you're finding it early. Congrats. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Chris Stapps Porzingis.